Don't go chasing waterfalls. That's the warning in a 90s pop song. But a five-year-old Twin Cities girl begs to differ. As Boyd Hooper reports, Wynn Radke took a love for waterfalls and ran with it. When humans fall, the results aren't pretty. But water and gravity have a captivating way. They also <laughs> have wind. The way she is? Wind Radke is five years old and in love. She just loves her waterfalls. Yes. <laughs> Our little waterfall chaser. A love that knows no bounds. Whose idea was it? Uh, mine. How did you think of it? Yes, that is my brain. Wynn's brain was pondering waterfalls even as a global pandemic closed her preschool and furloughed her mom, mm -hmm. Colleen. I just told her we weren't going to sit around and watch YouTube all summer while we were in quarantine. So I told Wynn she had to pick an outdoor adventure. And what'd you pick? 67 waterfalls. <laughs> 67 waterfalls. 67. Starting March 28th. And we went to Fairy Falls, just north of downtown Stillwater. Then Wynn, her mom, and a doll named Kanda kept going. Cascade Falls, Osceola, Wisconsin. Hidden Falls at Nurse Strand Big Woods State Park, where it was snowing that April day with spring flowers just starting to bloom. The journey already becoming as important as the destination. May 18th, Buttermilk Falls. Oh, yes, we climbed the rope at Buttermilk Falls. Ropes and rocks and nature's ribbons. While back at home, a riot would further alter their lives. We were back at work for, I think it was 10 days from when quarantine was over until we were looted. Colleen's jewelry store job, again on hold. So, back on the road. June 3rd, Big Falls, Eau Claire, where Colleen got word her divorce was final. It was a very difficult divorce. Yeah. On they soldiered into summer hiking to waterfalls, sometimes five miles a day. I think it kept both of our minds off it. She could feel my stress during everything. I also think that it helped shield her from all the craziness going on. Roasting, resting, reflecting. Mother Nature cleanses me, really makes me feel whole again. The girl who chases waterfalls has a middle name to match. Wind River. Yeah, Wind River. And a first name that inspired Wynn's choice of Winnie Wissa Falls in Pipestone as her 67th and final stop. In turbulent times, one and a two and a three and a four and a four. Wynn set a goal. And I did it. <laughs> Let's call it a win. Win. Boyd Hooper, Carol Evan News, Minnehaha Falls. Wynn isn't sure why she settled on 67 waterfalls. The number just popped into her head. But you can bet her 67th waterfall won't be her last. Tell you what, Ben, you know, it just reminds me of how people are handling this pandemic and mm -hmm. all this trepidation. And I hope that we look back and remember the quality family time, the adventures, the trips that maybe all this home time allowed us to get to. Yeah, and I hope that, you know, nature is a big part of that as well, when you can take a break from everything that's stressing you out in this technical world that we live in right now. And yeah, take a, a minute to reflect. So very cool story yeah. by Boyd Hubert. Uh,